all right, going to be watching uh, USA Today or the Today Show or whatever. <laughs> Don't care because uh, the man you're going to listen to here, very, uh, what, what do the kids call it? Uh, based. It's poggers. <laughs> it's pog. All right, let's, let's have a listen. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe you fucking said that. Socialism in New England. Yes. Wait, it's about Face me? It, you don't find it's too many about socialists me, in elective yeah. office in this country, and one is elected mayor of a sizable city, well, that's news. So Bernie actually did used to go by socialist. I didn't realize that. Yeah, he used to be a fucking member of the, I can't remember the party that he was part of with Howie Hawkins. Huh. But a lot of people don't know that. Barney. <laughs> Barney. I love you. No, yeah, Bernie was actually in charge of a fucking look, third party. Look, uh, I love you. You love me. We're a very happy family here in America. Comrade, yeah. Good morning, Jane. A couple of facts. Burlington is the largest city in Vermont. The state has about a half Ooh. million people. Burlington has about 38,000. Situated Ooh. as it is on Lake Champlain with the Adirondack Before Mountains. Before it was a senator, by the way. He was just a mayor. It's a lovely, lovely spot. We'd like you to meet mayor. its new mayor. This is Mayor Bernard Sanders. Mayor Sanders got a lot of attention Bernard recently. Bernard Sanders? Not only with his 10-vote victory out of about 9,500 votes cast, but mostly because he is a socialist. Everybody reading that article said, my goodness, how did this happen in good old conservative <laughs> Vermont? <laughs> how do you Jesus respond? Christ. They're really like oh my god like socialist what a dirty word how could you this is when the red scare was a thing you know th this kind of reminds me of how the right treats uh lefties now socialist joe biden even though he's not like... you know this reminds me of this yeah. reminds me of like how the news treats bernie sanders <laughs> yeah that too well in vermont being conservative is different perhaps than being conservative elsewhere in the country also what i think most people don't know is vermont happens to be one of the very poorest states in the country and although we're a little bit better off in burlington we still have enormous economic problems i won That's the election true. i think because we effectively put together a coalition of low-income people, elderly people, who in Vermont are very often up against the wall economically Based. in very bad shape. Some of our city trade unions. The cops supported you, didn't they? The police department supported us, yes. Damn. The uh, Patrolman's Association did, right. So you, we, Holy you're shit. based uh, cops, well, yo. <laughs> imagine if he was in charge right now. Do you think he could mend the great divide in our oh. country? Can you imagine if, like, everybody trusted the police again because <laughs> Comrade Sanders brought us all together? And, like... Comrade Sanders, yeah. Maybe in 2024, guys. True. Let's just go back in time, pull this guy to now. He That's... has the same ideas, so whatever. <laughs> you bring him into the current day. And we can run him until like at least 2050, you know? <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Let's do it. Police yeah. officers voting for you who probably voted for Ronald Reagan. Well, I'm not so sure that I don't know if I can say but that. But certainly. But the police officers in our particular city are earning their trade unionists with the police department that they've been concerned about, very low morale. So it didn't particularly surprise me. How are Vermont conservatives different than national conservatives? It's not big money conservatism. It's not they right wingism <laughs> and warmongerism. In fact, Vermont has always had a very strong feeling about civil liberties. What conservatives, conservatism means yeah. in Vermont basically is leave me alone, get the government off my back, and that's fine. It's a respect for other people's rights. We disagree. We'll talk it out. Big government. Socialism means big government. Bernie wants help. Medicare for all. That's more government. We don't want more government. It means a government that works for the people. And that's 100%. a very different conservatism that says, let's go to war, super nationalism, and so yeah. forth. If I were the president of the largest bank in Burlington, I'd be real nervous about you. Are, what, are you going to pull off your fucking mask and reveal that that's who you actually know, are? Right? <laughs> mask shit. off, literally. That does. <laughs> what the fuck? That, that, not only is that mask off, that almost sounds like a threat. Rat, dude. What the fuck are you saying to me? <laughs> uh, you know what? Fuck the banks. Come and get me. They're, uh, they're beta males. Well, they may be. They may be. But I think, and they are, but I think what we've often talked about also is that my powers as mayor are in many ways limited. And I have my visions as to what life should be in Vermont, in Burlington, and in the United States. But within Burlington, I acknowledge everybody knows what my powers are, and they're very limited. Right. We are not going to go around nationalizing banks or nationalizing industry. In fact, we want industry in Vermont that pay decent wages and we're going to go out and bring that in like every other mayor in the United States is. We are going to speak out, though, on national and international issues which affect the city of Burlington. For example, obviously, we're very concerned about Mr. Reagan's policies, which are impacting devastating... But Reagan was president! Reagan we're was president! Holy shit! So he was like the one bastion of, like, socialist ideas trying to get these it ideas was. out there at the time. I don't think people realize just how hard he's been fighting, and a lot of it he's been doing alone. There's not a lot of people like Bernie risen the fucking ranks of the political 
system and have continued advocating for these policies all the while. Only now are we finally starting to get progressive candidates which are starting to live up to the ideas that, you know, he's been preaching for years now. Listening to Bernie talk just gives me more hope, EM, yo. And that's part of why I wanted to play this too, to like end it on a positive note. This is someone who we've been following on the show and talked about a lot and he's been fighting for this for years and years. Everyone should see this if they support him. I'm gonna be sad when he dies. I, I don't sure. even want to think about that. Have you ever considered that maybe he just won't? <laughs> he just won't. He'll just keep going yeah. on forever. National issues which affect the city of Burlington. For example, obviously we're very concerned about Mr. Reagan's policies which are impacting devastatingly on low-income and working people. These are and still people. are, by uh, the way. Yep. Reaganomics fucked this country, yo. Still is fucking this country. Thanks, Reagan. Uh, but he's like Jesus to those Republicans, though, dude. Have you ever seen Ronald Reagan's election map? No. Pull it up real fast. Yeah. Like... 1984. Wait, no, the year was 1984. It was 1984. Fuck, it's dude. funny. As long as they can see it. I, I already know what it looks like. It's can they see it? Every state but Minnesota. Seriously? This is it. I think Reagan's first election map, he was like, Oregon was missing. Check the 1980 election. When I first saw this, I was like, this is a little bit sus. Look, wait, is that Georgia blue? Should have seen this. <laughs> yeah, dude. Here's the 2020. Oh, this looks totally fraudulent, guys. But this one, oh, nothing weird about this nothing that looks like there was zero fraud or anything about that election dude people thought that donald trump was gonna pull like a second election reagan and get pretty much all the fucking states which oh genuinely like that's what people thought that that shit was gonna fucking happen it's absolutely fucking laughable that that was the case but whatever is it just me or yeah, is this kind of stuff it looks yeah it looks kind of weird it's just now i'm not saying there's there's fraud here but like looking at this map this map and then this map, if you were to ask me, which one of these do you think looks more suspicious? Hmm, I don't know, guys. For some reason, all completely red, even California, even Except fucking for Minnesota. New York. Yeah, <laughs> everything but Minnesota. And But then here, get, get out of here, y'all. The fact that every state except for one voted for the same There's... candidate. And the fact every state except for one, it's almost like they didn't want it to seem too obvious. To me, that this makes it more obvious. Just one blue state. Yeah, there was something a little bit sus going on back in 1980. So the states that went blue were Rhode Island, Virginia, Georgia, D.C., Maryland. Hawaii also went blue. <laughs> I love that. That fucking, the 1984 <laughs> meme, holy fuck. And the only two blue districts are Minnesota and D.C. Which are affecting low-income people negatively. Yeah. But we know what our powers are within the city of Burlington. When you sit around with your own friends uh, talking about the world, how we got here, where we're going, the biggest grievance, give us your overview. All right, here. what we're talking about is that we believe in democracy. I mean, the problem with the word socialism is that very often it's been equated with what happens in the Soviet Union, which is authoritarianism. Still I to very this day. The right of dissent, and, and I think people with my ideas fight for those things very strongly. What we talk about is the fact that in our society, theoretically a democratic society, you have a handful of people who control our economy. You have uh, maybe 2% of the population that owns one third of the entire wealth of America, 80% of the stocks, 90% of the bonds. Now. And these people have incredible power. They sit on Even more, huge yeah. corporations like the Chase Manhattan and bank, the multinational corporations, and they determine the destiny of our entire country. As you know, perhaps 50% of our population has so given up on the democratic process, they don't even vote. And those are primarily poor people. And you've got those wonderful ski areas. Yeah. Hooray, let's go. More tourism yeah. for Vermont. Is How do you feel about that? Well, there's yes and no. Uh, I, I think we don't object to people coming into Vermont to spend money. That's fine. But we do know within our own state. How about the fucking sites in Vermont? <laughs> the fucking people are going to latch on to this. They're going to like this. Uh, uh, so how about the sightseeing, yo? Yeah, this guy's got crazy hair he's probably a crazy dude states in america and many I of the like people in vermont themselves cannot afford to go to the yeah, uh, downhill too. skiing we do more cross-country skiing it's cheaper what we are My talking about is the kind of development when I'm older. that will provide decent jobs for our people very often and this is a concern within our own state is that industries such as the skiing industry and other tourist attracting industries in vermont all over the country and all over the world they provide very low-paying menial jobs i'm not particularly proud that our state he finds a way to bring it back into fucking socialism because this is fucking that's why bernie is so goddamn fucking brilliant because it doesn't matter what you ask him like a, a lot of fucking politicians would get tripped up by that and would just start talking about themselves probably They're like oh well i really enjoy this site in vermont and you know i think that uh this makes it very fucking clear to me why uh <laughs> trump backed out of the fucking debate with him because he knew that this was exactly what was going to happen oh yeah chambermaids and people waiting on other people we would rather see our people doing meaningful productive type jobs where they can earn
earn a decent wage. Can you go to all those lunches, all of those banquets with the dais and the speeches and the cream chicken and all the wonderful Chamber of Commerce? Here we are, moving on. Our office is open. I've already talked to a number of business people. We will communicate. We're not shutting out anybody. But what I have also said is that what my concern is, is for the low-income people who are unemployed. See, again, he did it again. I love Bernie. He tries to fucking, like, deflect or, like, change the topic. And Bernie's like, well, look, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, what I'm more interested in is the low-income people in my city, the terrible policies that are having a negative effect on those people. And I'm going to talk about the issues. I'm here to talk about the issues. Fuck you. This is called making good use of your time on a fucking platform that you're given. He's using every opportunity he can to spread his message. That's fucking awesome. Isn't it nice to watch something on this show that makes us happy rather than sad for I know, once? right? I was going to suggest that we watch the Biden speech that, that he gave today, but you know what? No, I'm, I'm way more interested in watching this. <laughs> this is way Definitely. better. Minimum wage jobs for the kids who are in Vermont as throughout the country. They're left out. They have no sense but of But everybody purpose. says True. that. True. Well, they're going to be coming into our door. Do you want to tax... For, especially for people who make more than $25,000 a year? Well, that, for individuals, perhaps but not for families. That's too low. You know, we have husbands and wives. But, but you would consider a legislation that would tax the wealthy? Absolutely. We want to take the burden off low-income yep. and working people, and you've got to go to those institutions, those corporations, and those individuals who can better afford to pay. You surprised everybody with this victory, including media. <laughs> and not all media has been consistently... What people were saying is, well, gee, Ronald Reagan is a right-wing guy, and what happened in Burlington, Vermont? And I think the answer to that is... I don't believe personally that the majority of people in America believe in Ronald Reagan's ideology. What happened was... So, well, Bernie, Jimmy what do you think of the Burlington Coat Factory? Talk about that instead. The majority of people in America believe in Ronald Reagan's ideology. What happened was that Jimmy Carter failed. I think that's just clear as everybody, Mr. Carter would probably admit it. Yeah, that's probably uh, true. People are looking for an alternative. Mr. Reagan, with hundreds of millions of dollars behind them, with sophisticated media use and so forth and so on, was able to say to the people, we are the alternative. Now, obviously, what we are trying to do, people like myself all around the country are saying, wait a minute, you're going to find out very soon that this guy is not the alternative wait a minute this is like legitimately exactly what fucking happened uh, i yeah. know it's a terribly <laughs> complicated question and our time is up but are you a capitalist no i'm not a capitalist fuck yeah in 1981 bernie saying nope i am not a capitalist look at that smile he knows what <laughs> yep. he did yep i love it holy shit holy shit i love bernie so much i love that smile on his face holy shit so you don't believe in the profit motive, free enterprise, if I have a better mousetrap, I make more money. There's something to be said for free enterprise on a local level and competition. But what we're happening in yep. our society is we don't live in a free enterprise society. You live in a corporate capitalist society where in virtually every single industry you have giant multi-billion dollar corporations competing, driving the small businessmen okay. But let's out. pretend it would work without all that kind of acquisition of power that is unfair and doesn't... Do I believe that the profit motive is fundamental to human nature? The answer is no. I think the spirit of cooperation that you and I can work together better rather than having to compete against each other and Detroit, destroy each other. Bernard Sanders, Mayor, Burlington, Vermont. We'll watch with interest and wish you well. Be sure to leave a fucking like, drop a comment down below. Join our Discord, chill with us.